Hey, folks, this is Phil of Alabama Hot Sauce. That's alabamahotsauce.com. I've just taken a seat in Cracker Barrel right here in my local town of Florence, Alabama. And Cracker Barrel is a favorite with everyone who lives here because the food is absolutely amazing. I've come in here today to show you how to use two of my very popular hot sauces. Green banana. One is the green banana with zero heat, and one is the green banana that's hot. And these are popular in the South on a lot of things, but especially on greens. So, stay with me here. My waitress has brought me a, another Southern staple, a glass of iced tea. And in just a few minutes, we're going to see how the Alabama hot sauce green banana sauces work on green. See my weight just coming over my turnip green. Three turnip green. Has anybody ever come in and order three? Honestly, not, not a lot, but uh, that's okay. That's I knew. Thank you very You're much. Very Appreciate it. <laughs> All right, folks, what we got here is I got three bowls of Cracker Barrel turnip greens. Now, Cracker Barrel turnip greens all by themselves are absolutely delicious, just like your grandmother and your mother's turnip greens were. And in the South, if you're gonna serve turnip greens, they have to be done correctly because it is a passion of Southern people. Now, as I said to you earlier, I brought with me my two sauces I made just for turnip greens, and I had her bring me a traditional Southern favorite, which is vinegar sauce. It's peppers soaked in vinegar sauce. And with this you get, this has been used in the South for hundreds of years. With this you get a little heat and a lot of vinegar flavor, but you don't get much taste from the peppers. So I'm gonna first try this. I'm gonna take one bowl of these turnip greens. We'll cover up this vinegar sauce. And I'm gonna go in for the taste. Absolutely delicious. Just a touch of heat. No pepper taste. I mean, it's hard for pepper to transfer, the taste to transfer into vinegar, but it's good. Kind of a medium heat level. Now, as soon as I started making hot sauces, people started telling me, I love the taste of peppers on my food, especially on my greens, but I can't stand any hot. So I set out to make a sauce for greens that had the great vinegary taste, that had the great pepper taste, but had no heat. So I cho chose to use green bananas, or some people call them Hungarian wax peppers, to make my sauce. And instead of using standard vinegar, I made lactic acid vinegar out of fermented peppers. I didn't use the fermented peppers, the peppers I used in these, this sauce are completely fresh. But I used the lactic acid vinegar because in my opinion, it has a much better taste than uh, acetic acid vinegar. So I'm opening up my first one, which is the Alabama hot sauce with no heat. Now, this was made to have a real peppery, a real fresh taste. Without heat, let's see how I did. You see right away, this is thick. Matter of fact, I'm gonna take my limiter off here. I don't need to pour it over. All right. Oh, 
will be. This has that vinegar taste. It's not quite as sharp a vinegar taste as regular acetic acid, uh, apple cider vinegar. This is lactic acid vinegar. So it has a little bit different taste, almost a little mild. But the, the tart taste of these banana peppers is unbelievable. And there is zero heat. See the difference in the vinegars here. Big difference in the vinegars. This is delicious. I can see why my customer said, the ones that can't stand heat said, I want that flavor of peppers used to get when we use both vinegar sauce and diced up peppers in, in the charred greens. But I don't want the heat. Absolutely delicious. Now, let's give a try to a sauce I just released and it was in response to people who said man I love that sauce you made for vinegar but I like a little hot in it so I started this out because people didn't want any heat and I wound up with this identical sauce but it is also flavored with green jalapeno peppers which gives us that heat that we expect if we're looking for heat and pepper sauce. I can just get in this thing. My tamper-proof efforts on my sauces work very well. They are hard to get into. All right, we take our third little bowl of turnip greens here. And I'm gonna go ahead and take the limiter off of this thing because my sauce is thick. And I'm gonna pour it over. Now I expect this to have the same taste on these front of greens, but to have some added heat. Oh yes, this is really, really good. Absolutely delicious. This is great. These are delicious. They are absolutely delicious. So let's sum up what we have here. If I had a fourth bowl and I'd done nothing to it, it'd be delicious. This first bowl is the bowl I ate with the traditional, this one's made by Louisiana Pepper Company, traditional vinegar sauce. Uh, been used, it's on every table in the South all over. I actually even make one myself. I didn't bring it today because I didn't think about it until I got here. But anyway, there you go. The second one season with the Alabama hot sauce, green banana, no heat which is made out of salt, lactic acid vinegar, and pickled green banana peppers. They're banana peppers that I pickled myself. I bought them fresh, I sliced them and I pickled them. Okay. The last one is the Alabama hot sauce, green banana sauce with heat added. It's not a tremendous amount of heat, but it's the right amount of heat for what people want on their greens. If folks want anything hotter than this, they're typically going to go to one of the very traditional hot red sauces that we have here in, in uh, the South. There's a million brands out there. Everybody has their preference. My preference is the Alabama hot sauce ones. 
But anyway, they're going to go to something different if they want water to be the heat of this. But in any event, these things are absolutely delicious. And the best part about it is when you're eating greens, you take your biscuit and dip it down in the pot liquor. For those that don't know, pot liquor, liquor is the juice that comes out of greens when you cook them. Okay. Oh man, this is good. Well, folks, I want to thank you for joining me here at the Crack of Harold in Florence, Alabama. This place is great. I eat here quite a bit. Crack of Barrel restaurants all over the South are uh, the rage with Southerners because it's about as close as you'll get to driving into a restaurant that has consistent food quality. It tastes just like what you or your mother or your grandmother would have made at home. Once again, I want to thank you for joining me here. I've enjoyed coming to you with this, with the two Alabama hot sauce. Special sauce is made for greens. This is Phil, and I'll see you next time.